What is up guys, this is Moritz here from Section Store once again and today we will be having a look at this banger section right here. I'm just gonna give it a little reload so it's a banner section ideally for the home page and the first section of your page. So it's gonna come with a little animation right here then it's gonna zoom in, you're gonna have tons of customization options and it's interactive as well. That means if you hover over it, it's gonna give you this little animation options as well and here you can link it to products whatever you prefer actually and i think it's really going to decrease the bounce rate of your online store because people are going to get drawn into your online shop straight away and in the next step it will hopefully increase your conversion rate and i'm going to say we just jump right into it first thing i did to actually get this section right here is downloaded the section store app in the shopify app store and then after successfully doing so, I headed back to the Shopify admin area where I could easily open up the app right here. Then you're just going to click on Explore Sections where you will be able to find the section right here. You can either find it with the help of using our search bar, just type in Hero, or if you're quite new to the video, just go on here. Like I said already, the app itself is completely free. The section though comes with a one-time charge of $17 because it does have a lot of customization options and it was quite complex to set up. And if you would get a developer to do something like that for you, I'm pretty sure it would cost more than $17. So I think at the end of the day, it's quite a good deal and you're going to have all the customization options in the world, which I'm going to show you in a second. So let's head back to the home area where you can find the section right here. Before you can actually use it, you have to add it to the theme you're using. In my case, it's the Dawn Light theme already done so and then in the next step I can easily open up the theme editor which I've already done as well so I'm just gonna get rid of that so I can show you how I did it all so let's just hide that it's a little test store of mine and let's type in hero that is the one I am using let's put it all the way to the top you can already see a little default version of this section and in the next step I want to select the main image and it's a little example clothing brand so I'm going to use this image right here and there you can see it already it's updating a live in the theme editor it's going to give you a nice overview of how it's going to look later on as well you can add a product for example to the background image in my case I'm just going to use this random image right here it's actually a product which I use in the store the heading is supposed to be section store because that is our app the heading size I want to make a little bit smaller and one thing we have to do to see it all is actually save it all up it's what you should always do if you add a new section always make sure to save it up so the theme editor can actually recognize everything you are doing and in a second we should hopefully see the rest of the section that is looking nice as you can see here in the tutorial one, I got rid of a few of the headlines right here, but you can also just leave them right here. All the text and fonts are customizable as well, so you can easily change them. Just gonna get rid of that, so all the attention is gonna get drawn to the main headline. You can also decide where it's gonna be positioned, but I think in the center it looks quite good. And then, like you saw already, sizes are changeable. You can also reposition the headline, all the colors are changeable as well, but I'm quite happy actually with the colors of the default version because it's fitting the t-shirts of this little picture I used for that. And yeah, general margins and padding you can use as well. And then the next step, I want to customize all the other things as well. Like for example, here the Instagram info, let's say new t-shirt, drop, and then I'm going to paste the little product again. Let's just do the same one, so we're really going to promote that. And instead of info, we're going to do sale. And here we also want the same product again. Chevron, that's looking nice to me. And I'm just going to quickly do all the other ones. I don't want that in the middle. I want the focus to be on the left and the right, so I don't want it to be overloaded. But at the end of the day, it is up to you how you want it. Here we have awards. Let's do what's winning and then in the next one of company so it's going to say awards winning company I think that looks quite nice and like here again all the position sizes are also changeable again 
And the last thing we want to be doing is doing the bottom bar because that does have some content as well. Here you can change the position again. I think the S2023 looks quite nice on that one. Section store, digital products, just want it to be section store. Here you have the address as well. I'm just going to do it really simple. Let's just do my hometown in that case. And so we're going to do component library because that is what we're doing at section store. Okay, sweet. That is also looking nice. Working on project 12. Well. We can leave that. I'm happy. And here we're going to make it a bit more sleek. Let's just do independent and creative freelancers. That's looking nice as well. I'm just going to speed run this whole thing because at the end of the day, you want to customize it to your likings. Anyways, I'm just going to add this last image right here. That's another nice product shot of the two people representing my brand in that one. And here, I just want to get rid of the title and do latest work. That's looking nice too. Changes can be done here as well to the fonts, positioning and the colors as well. So you can see here, everything is fully customizable to your likings. I'm just gonna save it all up and have a look at it in the live version. And we're gonna check if everything is looking nice and if the links are also working. And if that's hopefully the case, we can round up this video. Let's just give that a little reload. There we go. The animation is already working. Section store as well. And in the next step, we should also see all the customizations we have done to the text as well. It's looking nice. The image is also getting displayed. I think it looks really good and we're going to check if the link is working as well which looks to be the case perfect and let's just head back again and i'm going to say a few final words and yeah i think it looks pretty nice i hope you guys found it useful if you did always feel free to leave a like and a follow and if you have some own suggestions on sections we could build always feel free to leave them in the comment section as well and with that being said have a good one and peace out guys